はい、皆さん、こんにちは。アクシス株式会社の動画です。こちらのですね、動画ではですね、ついに出た大注目のスピーカーです。ファインオーディオのファインヴィンテージシリーズ、それとファインクラシックシリーズに焦点を当てて、解説したいと思います。ちなみになんですけど、まあこれ、実はこの動画ともう一本ですね、あの、基本編ということで、ファインオーディオの動画を別にもアップしてますので、まずファインオーディオのことを知りたい方は、そこの動画から見てください。でですね、もう改めましてですね、今回、先ほども出演していただきましたけど、アンジー・ソスナさんに来ていただきました。アンジーさんよろしくお願いします。じゃあですね、もう早速、もう質問したいたいと思います。まあ、先ほども話しました通りですね、これ、ファインオーディオの一つ真打ちとも言えるスピーカーではないかと僕は思ってます。ファインヴィンテージシリーズとファインヴィンテージクラシックシリーズということで、もちろんこれ、ラインナップがね、あの、ファインヴィンテージシリーズが3モデル、ファインヴィンテージクラシックシリーズが4モデルと一気に投入してきました。で、技術的なポイントは、たくさんあると思うんですけど、まあこれ全部のね、モデルが 2A の同軸ドライバーを搭載していて、あとまあ今ちょうどこちらのね、後ろに映っている2台なんですよね。まあこれについて改めて質問してみたいと思います。アンジェリーさん、まずはこのシリーズに共通するポイントを教えてください。Maybe I should just go back a little bit. When we first started the company, Um, back in 2017, <coughs> we wanted to come out with a product that looked different、um, from anything that we'd been known for before. So we came out with more contemporary looking designs. And all of our ranges, early ranges, the 300, the 500, 700, F1, all contemporary looking, more modern looking products, all with very, very good technology, but, but looking more contemporary, more modern. However, During that time, a lot of our customers were saying to us, Yeah, that's good, but really, we wanted to design something like this, more vintage looking.、Oh. And we said, Maybe we'll wait, we'll wait for the right time. And now is the right time. We're six years old, and it's the right time to have brought out this vintage line. We have now created a range of more. Classic vintage style products, older, older looking products. But the common thread,、uh -huh. the common thing, is what we have in these products is the very latest technology. So, if you can imagine James Bond、oh. in a movie driving his DB5、oh, Aston DB5. Martin, DB5 Aston Martin. Well, this is like the DB5、yes. Aston Martin, but with the features of the DB11, all the technology of the DB11.、Oh. Yeah. なるほど。それ分かりやすいですよね。僕もね、車実は大好きなんで、今のおっしゃられたことすごいよく分かります。But we have a, a, a line that we created in English. It says, back in the day never sounded so good. And that's the English version. Back in the day never sounded so good.、Um, it's a play on words in a way, but it does mean something that back in the 60s, the things looked great. But we can make them sound much better now than they sounded in the 60s. 今ですね、先ほどから、まあ、二つのシリーズが、実はありますよね。で、このシリーズ、実はコンセプトが少し違うと聞いていますが、そのコンセプトの違いについて教えていただけますか ?The Vintage Series is more, more, more of a timeless design, more timeless,、uh, more, more modern, slightly more modern take on, on, a, on a vintage look. Whereas the, the classic is a more retro style. It's more of a, really looks like a 60s, 70s type product. It's more retro in the style. The reason that we have two different ranges is because of price point.、And、we wanted to have a price point that allowed not many people to try and buy this kind of product.、And、so we, we wanted to have a product which is more affordable and then At the top of the vintage range, we know it's very expensive. And when we started, we started with the vintage idea. But when we designed the cabinet and all the features, we realized it was going to be inexpensive, always going to be expensive. And like I said in the other video we made, we wanted to be able to sell to many people. So we decided we needed a more affordable range. 
and this is why we designed the classic version. So the main difference between the two is the cabin. The cabin airplanes. No, no, no. It's the main difference. The driver technology, the technologies are the same. The, the drivers aren't the same, but the technology is the same. Um, you know, it's always got a point source driver. It's always got a racetrack system on the flying point. The big, the big difference is this cabinet here, this beautiful uh, walnut veneer on the outside, uh, but it's lacquered. It's a lacquered walnut. Um, but the cabinet itself is made from HDF, uh, HDF, so high density fiber compressed. Very, very solid. This is a more cost effective cabinet. Plus, it's a square shape, which makes it um, easier to manufacture. So, um, this this makes it more more affordable. That's it. It's an easier to manufacture product. So, just to show you that the we have the isoflare driver unit here. This is the the fine flute surround part of the system. These two controls control two two different things. One controls the the, the high frequency roar, mm. and the other one controls what we call the presence mm. control. And the interesting thing, the panel on the front shows you what they do. Um, so the high frequency uh, effects from 15 kilohertz and above, and allows you to go up three, plus or minus 3 dB. And then the presence control, that affects the three to the sorry the two to five kilohertz region, and when you when you adjust the the presence control, it moves the sound stage forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Oh, awesome. That's what it does. There's one thing that the classic has that the vintage doesn't have. Yeah. So the grill is a magnetic grill. Yeah. Oh. This goes on. That's fine. Normally, that's normally we would take the grill off when we're listening to the product. Normally, um, but this is quite convenient because you can take the grill off. And then when you don't know where to store the bill, oh, oh. it goes on the wall. <laughs> what are you just now? It's like magic. There is, a, there is an important audio file issue here. If you do want to listen with the grill on, then the advantage is the HF level control. Yes. You can turn the HF level up because it's the high frequency that gets attenuated more by the grill fabric. So if you want to put the grill on, you can turn the HF level up and help to avoid the... But that said, we would recommend taking the grill off. <laughs> <laughs> so there are four models in this range. This is the 10 inch. The X is a Roman numeral X. This is the 10 inch. There's a 12 inch. And then there's two 8 inch. An 8 inch floor stand. And there's an 8 inch stand mount. And the stand mount is the, the lowest cost. And that's the entry level um, price for this, this range. One final thing. When you look at this people will say, where is the bass tracks? The bass tracks, where is it? I can see the bass tracks. Oh. And, and it's it's here, it's behind this fiber here. Oh, it's, it's in here. Oh. So it's the same idea, it says, it's, it's the slots all the way around here as well. So it comes oh. out, it's 360 all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. The vintage series, this is the next level. Oh. And the big, big difference here is Everything is more expensive, mm -hmm. mainly the cabinet. The cabinet is solid birch ply, oh, that's really thick birch ply. The baffle is, I think it's a 30 millimeter Whoa. thick birch ply. It's got beautiful oiled walnut. Mm -hmm. um, you can, well, that's a, the classic is lacquer. This is an oiled finish. So we, when you buy it, you get oil and you can, you can oh. put oil in here. So you can make it look deeper color if you want. 本当にね、これ、あの、素晴らしいんです。ちょっとね、これカメラ目線で言っちゃいますけどね、このスピーカーね、一つ大きな魅力だと思います。はい。このキャビネットが家に、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ
uh, different crossover inside here, all abstract, everything's abstract. Um, this one has got the presence control, different style completely. This was actually inspired by the Porsche 911 speedometer, uh, loosely, but it has the original style, uh, so it looks like a, an old speedometer. Uh, so in this one the base track is open, oh. it's completely open. You can see if you look inside, you can see the, the Traptrix diffuser in there. And the other big difference about this, uh, we have our own, in our factory, we have our own cryogenic treatment. We haven't talked about cryogenics at all. We have a cryogenic process in our factory um, where we can cool uh, products down to minus one, below minus 150 degrees centigrade. Yeah. And in the, in the vintage, we, we, we can cryogenically treat everything. Um, the whole crossover, all of the wiring, oh, cool. terminal panel, everything is treated cryogenically. And the, the, what the cryogenic treatment does is it removes stresses and strains that are created when, you, when you're building the electronics, especially the soldering process. あれなんですね。機材が入ってるんですね。それちょっと初めて僕聞いた話だけど、素晴らしいですね。クライオ処理をすることで本質的にはどのようなメリットがありますか？改めて教えてほしいんですけど。It's you can hear the difference. You can I I listen to myself. You can hear the difference. It just you hear more detail. You can just hear more detail in the music. A little bit more air at the top, and, and more detail in, in the music. The other thing they, they both have actually is the fifth terminal on the back. So we we have the fifth on the on the back. Of the product there's the fifth terminal. Hi, hi. There's four terminals, and then a, there's a fifth one. Oh. And the fifth one is for earthing. Uh, it's a grounding terminal to reduce interference. And the, the classic has the same on it. And what, what the reason for that is that the voice curl within the within the speaker can pick up radio frequency um, that's in the house lots, there's lots of radio frequency in the house and the voice call can pick that up and what happens is it picks up like an aerial and it sends it back down the cable to the amplifier whatever amplifier now the amplifier has almost no output in people so audio frequencies is not a problem but but rf radio frequencies it gets through and if it gets into the amp it can the amp can amplify these these signals and it comes back as a distortion signal so so that's what the fifth channel both both series have the fifth terminal on them じゃあそれではですねいよいよまあ音質について語っていただきたいと思いますまずはこの二つのシリーズが目指したまあ共通する音質についてを教えていただけますか。It's a good question. Um, something we we did think about quite a lot. The the cabinet the the, the cabinet shape materials and style allowed us to think about a slightly different sound character from the F1 range, the F1, uh, the flagship range. Uh, and when we were thinking about this range, we were thinking, well, a lot of people, customers will be using valve amps to drive these type of speakers. And the valve amp has a slightly warmer um, sound to it. And, and we felt that these should, these should make sure that they can match that kind of sound. So there's a slightly more relaxed, sort of warmer character if you listen to the, say, the vintage versus the F1 uh, 12. If you listen to them both, they both sound fantastic, but the 12, the, vin the F1 12, is a slightly more uh, clean sound, you can say, and more, more clinical sound. So I don't know what the right word you can translate it, whereas the, the vintage is slightly warm sound. That's, あの、高中一致度再生、ま、高音質って言われるその中一中一度再生の
本当にこのスピーカー素晴らしいと思うんですよ。それと、実際にこのスピーカーですね、使ってて思うのは、まずあの、その、位相特性の、その、軸上の位相と軸外に出た時の、その、長官上の位相特性の乱れが大変これ少ないので、あの、そういう意味で大変ですね。その、ステージング、サウンドステージがすごいよく出るんですよね。で、それとですね、もう一点あって、これはまあ、あのベーストラックスの,あの技術だと、の恩恵だと思うんですけど、低域のやっぱり、再生能力が非常に高い。まあ、これは、ファインオーディオのスピーカーね、あの、本当に F500 シリーズ以後の全てにね、もう本当に感じることなんですけど、特にやっぱりベーストラックが入ってる、入ってると、定期をしっかりふくよかに出すのに、でも、リアリティもね、あるんですよね。で、立体感もあるっていう、まあ、大変あの、先ほどね、第1回目に話されてた技術っていうのが、実際に音に聞こえてくるのは、もう本当素晴らしいと思います。I, I agree on both of those things, and that was the intention, having that wide dynamic range, that control of the, of the bass, making it tuned. You can hear the bass, especially in low bass instruments, you can hear all the notes, and, and solid on time.、Yeah. And、uh, we worked very hard on that. That's one of the things we worked very hard to make sure is, is right. But yeah, I agree with your, your points. One of the things it can do,、uh, it was a presentation at the weekend, just gone. Um, when you're playing very, very loud drum tracks, very, very loud bass drum track, live kind of drumming going on. But in amongst all of that, little detail of strings, little string instruments detail. So the, 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 the ISO flare and the whole system is able to produce the power and the control and all the detail of the instrument on top. It's very, very impressive. 改めて話しますと、この本当に二つのシリーズっていうのは、当然クラシックも大変素晴らしくなるし、僕はなんか特にクラシックシリーズなんかでジャズなんかも聴いて、しかもこっちの方って結構音が前にしっかり飛び出してきて、オールドジャズファンから今のジャズ、今の新しいジャズ、例えばグラスパーとかカマシュワシントンとか新しいジャズ聴いてても大変素晴らしく思うんですよね。で、あの、実際のところ、この二つの,あのスピーカーっていうのはサウンドキャラクターは若干変えていらっしゃるんでしょうか Not really, not. There wasn't an intention to make it different. It, it will sound slightly different because of the cabinet shape. It's gonna, it does sound slightly different,、um, but it wasn't intentional to make them different. It, it, but it's only a small change of sound, nothing, nothing in any way bad or poor. They both sound really good. And, and your point about the, the, the forward sound, the good thing about having the, the presence control on this is you can adjust the positioning of that. So if it sounds If you like it forward, that's great. If you want to make it push it back, you can just take the presence control and push the, the sound stage back a little bit. Because quite often that changes. The, 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 the vocal positioning can change depending on your cables and your amplifier and your room and things like that. So you can, you can adjust. なとても素晴らしいですね。本当にベリーグッズ。でも、例えば本当にここで聞くクラシック、まずまあ、本当にまずこのシーズンを考えられる方っていうのはクラシックを気持ちよく、その部屋全体でこう聞きたいと思っている方が多いと思うんですけど、あの、大変そこの、なんていうの、その、いい音楽への耐性もすごい高いですよね。名曲とか、名演奏とかの耐性もすごい高い。はい、今の感じます。The good thing about Well, our ISO f l a r e but generally about point source drivers is with classical music, you want to try and get the staging, the sound stage.、Uh, and because of the way the point source driver works, you get very, very good positioning of the violins and the, and the, and the bass, and you, know, you can get that. So you get that really well. But also the dynamics allows you to get all the detail, especially the strings of violins, you get more detail in there. And yeah, t h e y sound really good.、Yeah. ちょっと褒めすぎになっちゃうけど、女性ボーカルすごいですよね。このシリーズで。はい。It is fantastic, yes. I, the first time I heard,、um, we, this one particular track we play often in our listening is it's a track by a band, a, a band called London Grammar. And it's a, it's a live music track we play. And the first time I heard the vintage twelves playing that track, in detail in the vocal, it's just almost You can touch it, it was almost tangible detail of the vocal. It was fantastic. So, yeah, the female vocal in particular, very good. 
、あ、素晴らしい話ですね。そういう、やっぱり、体験をしたいと思っているオーディオファイルの方っていっぱいいると思うんですよ。じゃあ最後のちょっと質問になります。先ほどもちょっと同じ質問をしてしまって大変恐縮なんですが、あの、どういう方にね、おすすめでしょうか、このスピーカーは。Well, the vintage, the range is the more expensive range. So we're expecting a really dedicated audio file to be wanting these speakers. But, but also,、um, then, there may be some you just like the, the, the fact that they're beautiful pieces of furniture. And they are, and especially the five, the five inch, we haven't got it here, the five inch、um, vintage, vintage five. It's every time, I, I, I've, I've shown this now a few shows, and every time I show it, the, word, the, the women, In particular, say, Oh, it's beautiful, it's cute, it's so cute, it's so lovely, right? So it looks lovely, right? So, so there's going to be a different audience for that, for the, for the vintage, the classic, and clearly it's, it's, a, it's a more a lower price product, so it's going to get a wider audience. But people who generally maybe got lower cost electronics, like, the good thing about this is that they play really well, even with a low cost amplifier, you'll get really good, really good、uh, performance from, from the classic. まあ、とてもいいコメントですね。あの、みんなが欲しくなると思います。<笑>はい。僕のオーディオファンがこの動画を見て、あの、ファンオーディオの素晴らしさにね、改めて気づいてくれたらとても嬉しく思います。Thank you very much and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for your questions. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.